Welcome to another Token.io tutorial. This video is going to cover account creation. You are going to need a GitHub account. We use that for authentication. Um, if you don't already have a GitHub account, go over to github.com, click on sign up, go through the process. It takes just a few moments. Otherwise, you're going to want to sign in. Okay, I'm ready to go. I am now in github.com. Um, for future reference, if you want to set a profile image for your profile on token, you may as well go ahead and do that now. Um, come over to your profile. And right here is where you would change your avatar image. When you set this image, it will automatically populate as your image on token as well. Okay. Now we will go to token.io. We will sign in. We're going to authenticate with GitHub. And you are now logged in to the token.io platform. Now that you are registered with token.io, you are going to want to set up a wallet passphrase and, and, and uh, fund your wallet in general. So you're going to want to come over here to this drop down menu right beside your profile image we set before. I'm going to click on that and select my wallet. Now my wallet is already set up. When you log in, it's going to be fresh. You're going to need to set a wallet passphrase. Take extra care to make sure you input your uh, wallet passphrase, spending password, accurately the first time. Um, uh, once you have that set, you can then begin funding your account. Um, so I'm going to copy this address, and I would go to wherever I have ADA. I'd input that address into that wallet and send funds over to my token wallet. Once your wallet is funded, you are ready to move on to the next steps. Now that our wallet is set up and secure, we're going to set up our profile page. So we'll go over here to where the uh, drop down menu is once more. Pull that down. We're going to select my profile. You will see where your avatar image was set previously on GitHub. You will see, should see, the email you used to set that GitHub account up with. Here you can input your name, your username. Uh, you can input a bio here if you'd like. You can add some links. I have a uh, link to a Discord auction site that I use, Space. Uh, I have my Twitter, my personal website. You could add additional links here if you like. When you update this, all of that will be saved, and your profile is now set. Now, in order to make your minting life super easy, we're going to venture over into policy management. Okay, so we're going to go to policy management. We're going to pull this down. This is going to help you um, select various policies while you mint. So you can store these and reuse them as you go. Okay, so we're going to, I have some set here already. We're going to create a new policy. We're going to call this one, uh, we're going to call it series, just as an example. So let's, let's say we're going to do a series of NFTs, but I don't want to mint them all right now but I want them to all be under the same policy ID. So I'm going to set this to, um, and let's say I'm definitely going to finish this policy in, within six months, okay? I want, want, I'll finish the series in that period of time. So I'm going to select six months. I'll have to enter my uh, wallet passphrase I've already set, and we're going to create a new policy. wrong wallet passphrase okay so now we have this new policy is ready to go now that we have a fresh policy to use we're going to mint an NFT so I click on create NFT is already selected. If we were going to do fungible tokens, native assets, I would have selected that, but we're not. Okay, so the first thing you see here is mint, minting policy. Okay. 
I'm going to select the one we just created. Single unique NFT, multiple serialized NFT. So let's say I want to do 10 of this one design. Okay. So I'll enter 10 under serialized quantity. We're going to choose a file. There's India. We'll do India. We'll call this India test and in the display name you can actually use Unicode you, you can use UTF-8 characters in there and they will work um, asset name we'll keep that as it is in the test or if we're going to do a series this could be maybe part one in the 01 collection name we'll call it nations asset description I'm going to say test long description okay artist name publisher URL if you want to include one this will be in the meta all this will be your metadata attribute key if we were doing a character for example we could do left hand um, shovel right hand flashlight just an example if you want to add more attributes you can do so with that key okay so I've entered all my data my wallet passphrase now so I'm doing 10 of these so it's going to be uh, 15.580a uh, the min UTXO is 2.37. Transaction fee is uh, 0.3. So for these 10 assets, it's going to cost me 18.17. There is a sliding scale on there, so the more you mint, the cheaper it gets. Okay, this is for NFTs specifically. Now we're going to mint. Now we have successfully minted this NFT to the Cardano blockchain. We can click on this image. And it again will show us the uh, full res image that we used on IPFS. If we click on the title, it will open up in Cardano Block Explorer. Scroll down if you want to view Meta. Click on Show Unmoderated Content. And here you'll be able to see some of the uh, data we input uh, artist name. NFT, left hand shovel, right hand flashlight, collection name nations, etc. etc. Here you can see that they were serialized, the number of uh, mints in that batch. Okay. Now, under the My Assets preview window, these will be compounded together. So, you serialized X10. If you want to view them all, you can do so and it will open up a separate window so you can view them all and they are numbered as you can see there now that we have completed this mint if you go to your public page click on my public page right here you'll see I only have two things visible on my wall this is what's publicly visible and I want to make that last mint on my wall visible public so we will come back to our drop down we'll select asset publisher and you can see what I have private things when you mint them are automatically set to private so you will have to choose what is public and what is not so I want to click on public apply changes we have successfully updated that we'll go back to my public page and there it is Now that sums up the gist of operating on Token.io, from account creation to wallet setup and funding, profile setup, policy management creation, minting fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens, sending assets, and I did mention the partner program. On the main homepage for Token.io, 
Everything you see here are people who are members, artists who are members of the Artist Partner Program. And they have selected these particular assets to be public from their profile um, within the asset publisher. Okay. If you want to learn more about that and are interested in becoming a token artist partner, come over and click on About Us. Scroll down until you find Premium Partners. Click on Learn More. What are Premium Partners? In order to prevent inappropriate, offensive, illegal NFTs and FTs being shown on our homepage automatically when minted, we implemented a quality control process called Premium Partner Program. Artists who wish to display their work on our public homepage can apply to join the program. If they pass our community onboard process, they will be added to the Premium Partner list. Whenever an NFT or FT is minted by a Premium Partner and it is set to public, it will automatically show on our homepage, as this is from a vetted user that we trust. This process allowed us also to bring together a community of artists who create high quality original art. They also are collaborators with each other and share their knowledge, tips, tricks, advice, etc. So we invite you to come join us on Telegram. Uh, reach out to one of us, one of the team members, and we'll uh, get that process started if you are interested. As mentioned before, from your personal page, you can share that link when you create your username that that also sets your uh, location on the platform so if you set it to be you know soda pop it will be token.io forward slash soda pop and you can share that with anyone to be able to to be able to uh, see what you've created um, otherwise if you want to be visible on the main page you want to join the partner program and from the about us page if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see our premium partners in the list here and we fully expect that list to grow quite a bit while we are here we will discuss upcoming features on the roadmap uh, marketplace functionality is coming very soon um, market functionality to let anyone buy sell NFTs and FTs from directly on the platform asset burning if the policy you used is open active you can burn assets you've minted Asset Viewer, we're going to develop our own block explorer, so to speak. Additional Mints, you can mint more of serialized NFTs and FTs whilst the policy is open or active. Mint On Demand, that is something I get asked about quite a bit. This will allow you to basically set up a vending machine where you don't have to mint NFTs and sit on them for no reason. You can have a hundred of a particular asset that you want to mint. You can set it up for that purpose, and when people buy it, it mints it when they buy it. Um, it's kind of like a vending machine. works great. Developer API access. We're going to leverage our capabilities of our platform via secure API access remotely. This will allow other people to develop things for us and us to access things that other people have uh, developed. For example, the Nami wallet. Uh, there, there will probably be some kind of integrations with that or something similar to that very soon. Authenticity validation, a system to verify authenticity of NFTs and FTs through registered verified policies. Um, this is a hot topic in the community right now, so we'll, uh, we'll be doing our part to, uh, to do some of that. Artist royalties, artists can configure after sale royalties per asset. This will obviously be after smart contracts are uh, implemented and Gogan is live. We appreciate the community support. If there's anything we can do to help you in your journey on token.io, please reach out to us. We're on Telegram and on Twitter. Um, our address for, uh, for Telegram is t.me forward slash token, T-O-K-H-U-N. And Twitter, we are twitter.com forward slash token underscore I-O. You can find us at either of those two locations. The entire team is in Telegram. Um, you can usually find somebody in there 24 hours a day because we're all across the globe. And we will be happy to help you get any issues you have sorted out and help you get on your way. Uh, we look forward to uh, what Mainnet brings us and uh, future roadmap rollouts. Thanks a lot.